building on the uh, recovery and, and after almost eight weeks after the earthquake i think that the uh, uh, the response is much more coordinated of course there's always a room for for improvement and now we're look, moving towards the um, the recovery and uh, reconstruction uh, plans for for the country I cannot hide the fact that uh, we've had some uh, incidents and some reports uh, of rape, etc., and uh, some uh, uh, incidents of, of that nature. Uh, right now we have around 900 different uh, uh, IDP camps, small, medium size, and large, in Port-au-Prince, scattered all over the city. So it's uh, extremely difficult to provide even, I mean, assistance or uh, food or water to 900 different places in Port-au-Prince. And also security also is, is a problem there. These are five pieces of land and we're starting working. Uh, now in, in Port-au-Prince you would see that most uh, I mean, streets and avenues have been cleared of, of rubble. And most of that work, I must say, was done by the Haitian government itself. And doing that ourselves more and more. Adoption processes have been stopped in Haiti right now because there's so much confusion and uh, uh, and I think that's the right thing to do because in order to avoid any any misunderstandings uh, and when things come back a little bit more to to normality and the Haitian state and the Haitian government is able to follow up and investigate and control I mean these uh, adoption processes I think this I think that that's the right decision